Hey what's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing another brand new powerful Android smartwatch. So this is the Lempho LEF1 3G smartwatch. This smartwatch is jam packed with features and specs. You can insert a nano SIM card and make and receive phone calls and this is effectively a standalone smartphone watch. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this has a 1.39 inch AMOLED screen, resolution is 400 by 400 with 286 pixels per inch. The CPU is the MTK6580 quad core running at 1 GHz. You got 512 megabytes of RAM, 8 gigs of internal storage, Bluetooth version 4, GPS and Wi-Fi. You got 3G nano SIM card slot. Android version 5.1, heart rate monitor and pedometer, and a built in 350 milliamp battery. So, this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual and a technical support card. So, this comes with a very high quality braided um, micro USB charging cable, and you also have another USB charging cable. I'm not sure why we have two chargers included with this, and you also get a small screen protector as well. And here is the LEF1 smartwatch. So you've got a black leather strap on this watch as standard. So as you can see, it does look pretty good. You've already got a screen protector applied. So you've got a 1.39 inch AMOLED screen and you've got a heart rate monitor on the back and that's the charging pin. So if we just test this charging pin out, this is just gonna be a magnetic charging pin and that's it, it just goes straight on. And you can charge this with any USB port with a standard 5 watt charger. Um, I've got no idea why this was included. Um, this doesn't really have a USB port, but it's a very good quality cable and I'm sure I'll find some use for it. So on the sides you've just got one button, there's no camera on this watch. You've got what appears to be a speaker grill on the other side. On the back you have a heart rate monitor and a charger pin, and over here is a SIM card tray. And what I like about this watch is you don't need a screwdriver to open a SIM card tray. So you can just flick it up and there you go. This takes one nano SIM card and supports 3G networks. I just want to do a quick comparison to the LES1 smartwatch. So here on the left is the Lempho LES1 and on the right of course I have the LEF1. So the screens do look very similar apart from the timestamps. Overall quality the LES1 seems to, seems to feel better. Okay, the straps, you've got silicon on the left and on the right you have leather straps. If I put both watches together, you can see that there's a camera on the LES one and a button on the top and the LEF one only has one button. And on the other side, you've got the same speaker grills. At the back, they look pretty much the same. You've got the same heart rate monitor, charger and the SIM card trays are slightly different with um, the LES one needing a screwdriver and this one is a screwless design. I just wanted to give you guys a real-time comparison of what these two watches look like. They have similar model names. The LES1 on the left has 16 gigs and 1 GB RAM and the LEF1 on the right has 512 RAM and 8 gigs of storage. So there you have it. Let's move on with the video. So now I'm going to switch it on. So this is the default watch face you have. It shows you the date and the time. Um, if you scroll to the right, you've got your notifications. If you scroll to the left, you've got all of your apps and your settings, etc. Um, if you scroll up, you get the weather information. So if you scroll down from the top, you get battery information and system information. And then if you continue scrolling to the right, you'll get quick settings where you can turn off your Wi-Fi, uh, turn off Bluetooth, etc. Um, you can also adjust the brightness. We're on medium brightness at the moment. I can put it on low and I'll put it on high to show you guys the difference. So you've got a very nice bright AMOLED screen here. So I'll leave it on medium. Right, if we carry on scrolling, you've got your health information here. This watch will automatically track the steps you take, the distance you travel, um, is a great tool for health tracking. And if we scroll down, and you go back to the watch face. So if you want to change your watch face, you press the center button for two seconds, and then you'll be able to change to all of these, these watch faces that you have. And as you can see, there are plenty to choose from. 
And also when you get to the end of the list, then you can hit the plus sign and download a lot more watch faces. So let's try a few out. I'm going to try the second one. It caught my eye, this red one. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So in the center, you can see it will track your steps. You've got the date and the time, and you've got a seconds ticker. And that does look quite nice. I like that. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Um, so the best thing about these sort of smartwatches is you can never get bored of them. Um, you can change your watch face anytime you like. There's so many different watch faces. You can have a simple one or you can have a proper technical one. Um, it's totally up to you guys. This one's quite nice, just something simple. I'm going to go back to the red one. Yeah, I like this one. This one's cool. So let's have a quick look at all the apps you get on the system. So you've got contacts, phone, messaging, settings, browser, calendar, clock, gallery, music, sound recorder, file manager, health, weather, voice search, Google Play Store, maps, connect phone, remote capture, music control, find my device and switch platforms. So switch platforms is basically you can choose whether you want to connect it with your iOS or your Android device. So you have access to the Google Play Store, which means you can actually download any app or game that you like, and it will basically run on this device. So you have a lot of features to keep you busy. So let's have a quick look at health. So in health, you, you've got a pedometer and a heart rate monitor. The pedometer we've already seen, it will count your daily steps. It will tell you your calories burnt and your distance, um, and it will give you all the records up to two months. It's a really good way of uh, tracking your health. You can actually change your um, personal settings. So you can give yourselves different goals and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's really useful to have. Another great feature is heart rate monitor. So when you click on that, you will see the green light turn on and basically that will detect your heart rate. So there you go, that's my heart rate there. So there's my beats per minute, that's my heart rate right now. So there you have it guys, that was the Lenfo LEF1 3G smartwatch. You can insert a SIM card and use it as a standalone smartphone or you can Bluetooth tether with your iPhone or your Android device and it will give you access to so many features. So you've got notifications on the left. You will receive all your notifications, for example, emails, SMS, WhatsApp. So you can read your notifications, but you cannot reply. And that's the same with most Lenfo watches that I've reviewed so far. What you can do, though, is if you insert a SIM card, you can actually write and reply to SMS messages. Battery life is pretty much the same as the other Lenfo watches I've reviewed. It can last you a full holiday with light usage and medium to heavy usage you're looking at around four to five hours. So with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.